What a lovely, lovely morning and uh, very cold. Um, and uh, off to uh, a flight simulator today uh, in Nottingham. So it's a long trip, um, 190 odd miles return trip there and back. Got, um, got a couple of, oops, sounds like a little dog brawl going on over there. Got a couple of, um, couple of stops on the way and on the way back. Uh, I'm going to cover it on my video log, uh, our friends electric as well. But uh, I wanted to do a separate uh, intro and outro because um, I'm going to do this as a separate video. Um, if you're interested in electric cars, electric vehicles, then check out Our Friends Electric because that's what that's all about. But this particular video is all about the flight sim. So the place is called SimSpot and it's in Nottingham. And there'll be a link in the description below somewhere or if you're on mobile over there somewhere or over there I don't know um, always confusing to me that and uh, it's going to be a full day uh, round trip and um, hopefully all will be uh, all be exciting and great so uh, we're really looking forward to it Holly's coming with me and Kia Kia's going to be doing the video in so thank you Kia and Holly's going to be my co-pilot because uh, she quite fancies being a co-pilot and uh, anyway, we'll see how she does. Good, right, um, off we go then. And uh, hopefully uh, get to fly to some exotic places like, uh, I think we're going to Hong Kong. That was one of the things we talked about. That would be great. Uh, and maybe some others as well. Okay, here we go. This is the video. Okay, well, we've arrived, got me tickets. Uh, been a bit stressful because we actually uh, went to the wrong postcode. Never mind. but well, here we go. Flight sim on our way. Right, here we are. We've arrived at Sim Spot. Awesome. Look, there it is. That's what we're flying. Oh my giddy up. Is it 737? 737 This Can I show you on? Do you mind being on camera? Sure. This is, this is Greg. <laughs> Hi Greg. He's Hi. gonna be the he's gonna be the real pilot. He's gonna show me what to do. So we're excited. Do you have any previous flights? Uh, I have flight sim X. Okay. Um, but I've never done a 737. Uh, I think unfortunately it's as far back as it will go. The best oh. thing you can do is if you just swing your right leg around. Yeah. Whew. There we go. Left leg there. They are okay. So I've started to play with that, but I'm not really that good at it. I'm just <laughs> enjoying messing. Sure, yeah, okay. Well, to get used to controls, would you like to perhaps do maybe just a short flight around London? Yeah, okay. Perhaps do, you said you're on Gatwick and Heathrow, maybe yeah. you made from Gatwick to Heathrow or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Is that okay? Was there a, is there yeah. a chance to do, I, I quite fancied the Hong Kong thing that was mentioned. So Absolutely, I will, uh, yeah, if you haven't said that, I would suggest it to you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can, uh, I'll switch over to Hong Kong afterwards though, and we'll do a question there. Right. Good. The first the controls are with your feet, down yeah. with the pedals there. Yeah. So they are both connected to your rudder, and also connected to the, uh, the nose wheel. So you're okay with the seat position there, are you? I'm going to say I'm a bit short, so can I move okay. that forward a bit? Yeah, so if you come down to the left here, yeah. can you see these, uh, you these three levers. Yeah. You want the, the second one here from the back. So just, Ooh, so that's just, behind, yeah. just behind that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not that one. There you go. And just take your car, you stand up a second, the seat's going to jump up and forward behind you. There you are. That's it, thank you. That's better. Is that okay? That's much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to come back up vertically, you want to go that same one as before. I'm, I'm fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Man. Great. Okay, yeah, so, as I was saying, the pedals uh, connected to your nose wheel as well as the rudder. Uh, and so they have your control what's on the ground. Yeah. Uh, right pedal down to your right, left pedal down to your left. Yeah. If you put your feet higher on the pedals and push them with just your toes. Yeah, that's the brakes. That would be the brakes, yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, uh, toes for brakes, kind of full pedal movement through your heel for the uh, for turning. All you're going to need to do is, well as you head down the runway here, the aircraft is going to want to be one way or the other. We just what you need to do is keep it straight as you can, as straight as you can. That can be fun. Yeah, once you're up to speed, just basically pull back the control hold, and then you're the air. Um, and then once you're in the air, you can use the pedals for the, using the rudder for just an uh, agent turning, but if you want to forget about it, that's fine. Um, are you quite happy with turning in the air? I have done. Uh, yeah. Whether whether I could do it with this or not, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you have the idea. Like, it's a little bit different to turning a car, for example. Yeah. Yeah. You have to kind of move. You have to bank the aircraft first. 
and then it will turn on the dog being back. Yeah. That? Yeah. Right. Okay, so these screens, have you seen these screens before? Just down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, so do you know about like, uh, so with quite heavy aircraft, you see at the moment the nose is set to the horizon line, on the yes. upper horizon. With heavy aircraft, it needs to be slightly above that. Yeah. So on the first line, the boot line, sitting on top of that line, two and a half degrees nose up. So just more, sort of like that, like that. Exactly, yeah. You fly slightly nose up in these things, basically, to maintain yeah. lift. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then just, yeah. For takeoff as well, if you put the nose anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees nose up, that would be uh, perfect for making a climb without losing too much airspeed. How about that? Yeah, so 10 and 15 would be on, on the... Do you see the longer line with 10 inside of it? In the blue? Here, yeah. yeah, so the next one up. Yeah, the next one up would be uh, 12 and a half, the, the longer um, one. Right, right. And the longer one just above that is 15. Okay, How so get that? that into the centre reticle, yeah? Yeah, yeah if, you go for, if you aim for a 12 and a half degree nose up, that would be perfect there. Fantastic, I'll have a go on that. Um, so yeah. Uh, so same screen far left, you've got black box A45, which is your speed tape. Uh, the equivalent on the other side of the screen, uh, what's that saying there? 540 down here. Where are you going? So on the same screen down there. Yeah, yeah. So your speed, you're, you're 540? Your, yeah. You have your speed tape on the left hand side there, and the altimeter is on the right hand side. Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, your compass rose, basically the direction navigation there. Uh, I can change the heading bar because that's keep the line there up here. I can turn that around just to give you headings to fly. Fantastic. And obviously you just need to fly towards that at all times. Yeah, so we're, head, so we're trying to get that up. Okay. Exactly, yeah. It's going to up on the top face to the top of the um, Getting on this harness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like just to uh, add some data in there. So you can see where the airports are. Um, last thing, power is here. Yeah, left and right engine. In the gauges on the center screen here. Yeah. yeah. Power. So if I, uh, if you watch the left gauge, you know, yeah. see that line goes right yeah, outside so that. Yeah, spiral up, yeah. yeah. So you're in the rip control, that half line, you want to set the power four, you get back to the four. Ah, right, power. yeah, yeah. So it'll come down to it, so I'll go up to it. Exactly, yeah. The engine power catches up slowly yeah. by itself, so, yeah. Good. Well, um, you got any questions at this point? That's at this point, but I'm sure we will make a mess of it and have some <laughs> questions later. Sure. How heavy are the, are the, are the, is the steering? Do I have to... Is it, is it fairly um, is it well, slow to pick or is it would you feel like I mean that's that's the resistance you're getting there yeah right? uh, uh, once as it it will react a little bit slowly that's okay. as it gets quicker it also reacts faster right um, yeah. once you're in the air I think well depending on how you look at it uh, the actual maneuvering of the aircraft is quite sharp I think yeah with a little bit of movement with a little bit of, sorry, a little bit of movement on the drop on you will get a, big, a relatively big movement Outside. So keep it really fairly. Yeah. So yeah, it's awesome. directly proportional to the control going. That's great. Right. Um, yeah, um, when using it, if you can be quite gentle with it. Uh, treat it as you treat normal aircraft. The reason I ask is because some people have gone too far in the past and then it's you know, out of action for the rest of the day and the next day. Ah. Well, perhaps, uh, yeah. I'll try and be very, very gentle. <laughs> Good. Are you happy to go ahead? Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. The first thing you just want to knock off your parking brake. Let's just leave it just down here. This one, drop forward, yep. The power leaves all the way up to the green arrows on the gauges there next to the tens. That's your table power. Uh, absolutely perfect, so... Uh, 
just about to sort of drop it down a bit, is that right? Or keep... yeah, I seem to be turning as well. a bit as well, so... Yeah. Is that because my feet are on the blue? Is that because I've got my feet on? No, it could be anything. It might, it might be actually, I can't remember which way it is, but I think that the system is very slightly calibrated wrong. Um, right. So when you put the drop off the straight, I think it's, it's racing because it's racing like turn to the right. Or... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just straight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So would you like to perhaps bring up his landing gear? Is that lever ahead of you there? Just pull it out and then all the way up. And what we can also do is put away the flap, which is this lever here. Pull it up and all the way forward. What's it up? Do we have to slow down a little bit? Do we just keep going? No, that's, that's perfect. Uh, that's speed is good. And can I take my feet off the pedals for a minute? Absolutely, or? yeah. yeah. We won't do the head up to about 10,000 feet. Okay, yeah, we'll have that there. To that pink line? Uh, yes. Because otherwise we're going to end up like massively over. <laughs> so, what we did, we took off from uh, Gatwick in yeah. a north easterly direction. So, we're going to keep heading in that direction and then make a bit of a turn towards the north and then make a left turn over to the west and actually through. Size of turn, or as a bank, it's rather. Yeah, it would be down a bit. Yeah, and those are just left a bit now, yeah. 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 Just notice that. Yeah. 
flying so far. Loving it, absolutely loving it. It's great to have. Normally it's just a single joystick, but the actual column is really, yeah, yeah. really helps. You just, oops. Yes, because I was talking. <laughs> You've got to do six things at once, isn't it? That's FSX is obviously it's quite different, but because of that, I'm not really having to worry about uh, lots of different things. I can just turn stuff off or let yeah. it do some work, which I want to tend to do. But I do enjoy it. That's, uh, I've, I've tried uh, FSX and also a few others. Yeah. But I, just, I don't know, they're never making my head round them, they were. <laughs> FSX, you get into a bit of a muddle and things start to accelerate out of control, yeah. and uh, you end up either, you know, thinking, right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fly over and come back and do it again. Yeah. I think the thing for me is that I can't judge the distance that I should be off the ground. You know, I can see it when I'm landing, but when sure, I'm this yeah. far away, I have no idea how high I should be. Uh, yeah, it's all useful. How far back to two? Yeah, all the way back, back now. Yeah. That's what the thing goes down about three. Yeah. It's a reason for that we slow yourself down for a while. Yeah. Now, quite a good trick for coming into the airport, let's say the start of the runway, that's your aiming point. So what you want to do is, whatever the aiming point is, you put that in the bottom third of the windshield yeah. as you're looking out. That will give you the perfect rate of descent all the way down to that point. Is, is that, that runway with the lights on it, is that where we're going? Yes. Alright, because we're sort of at this angle that we... we Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Just raise your nose a little bit more again. I'd actually like to bring in the landing gear now. Uh, do I pull it? Yeah, pull it out and all the way down. Just raise your nose slightly. Okay, so you can't you forget about your screens now because they will uh, lead you over. Straight, pretty much. Pete. Yeah, so just look outside. Yeah. You can see you're over to the right now. Yeah, so. Just give yourself a bit of a left turn. So, just like, is, would I normally turn or would I try and. The uh, best thing you have to do is kind of to turn yourself onto that flight line. Right, okay. Good. Just bring that flap of five degrees. Just bring that flap of five degrees there. Back what, three notches, I think. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. slow us down and keep us. And you just increase your power again slightly, bring it up to about just above the four there. What you want to do is just raise your nose just enough to bring the uh, the runway into the bottom third of the screen. I'm with you. And then that image that you're seeing out the windows there, that's what you want to kind of keep all the way down. Still coming in. Yeah, it looks like you're correcting quite nicely actually, so uh you there. So you see the moment the start of the runway is like half behind the windshield there. Yeah, I'm just just, just realising that I've got to max on. She said, she said, Go on, grab on. Between us we'll sort it. Go on, pal five hundred. Okay, she's bring in a flap of ten degrees there. Excuse, and I'm sticking to that. So we uh, off the triangle corner. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Okay. So is this this is Hong Kong? This is a uh, Uh It's a little way to the south of Hong Kong. Right. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take it from here. Make a right turn. I'll keep going over. That direction there. And that'll take us over the new Hong Kong airport, which we're going to overfly. Right. And we're going to head over towards the city where Kai Tak is. And we'll head down into that one, which is the, uh, okay. the fun one. So you is that the one that extends into the ocean? It is, yeah. <laughs> So are you fairly happy to try this? Yeah. Good. So when you're ready, parking brake goes off again. And then uh, power leaves us up to the takeoff power. Which was... You see the green arrows? Yep. Ten on the gauges there. Oh, okay. Not too much. Oh, okay. Come on, H. Really? Assist. Yeah, come on. Help me.
but I believe that Ireland's uh, man made. Yeah, they filled in. Yeah, yeah. They've done a lot of that in uh, Saudi as well, haven't they? They've yeah, yeah. Reclaimed yeah. land from the sea. We'll go straight in. Now. Okay. It's up to you, really, though. Uh, yeah, don't mind. Yeah, let's do that. So you want to stop the setting now? And I'll notice she's come down to the horizon line there and then bring the power leaders back to about uh, four of the gauges. And to keep ourselves a little bit slow, just want to bring in the landing gear now. That'll help slow us down as we descend. So you, can you see where you're going, Holly? It's the yeah. U shape. I'm trying to keep an eye on my instruments at the moment. Okay. <laughs> You're looking straight ahead, you see there's it's a darkened area at the moment, and there's kind of a, a ridge of hills going around the back of it. Okay. So there we go, it's just building, it's, it's loading now. So that is the city. So is that the runway there, going that way? Yeah, we, uh, we're, go like we're basically, yeah, exactly. We're going to have to, you see this, these hills going around the back of the city there? Mm -hmm. So good to go. They kind of get in the way as you come into the runway. Yeah. So you, what you want to do is uh, head towards those hills almost. And you're gonna make a right turn. Yes. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You wanna keep them on your left hand side. Do you mind if I come in there? Yeah, go for it. And just raise your nose to uh, slow yourself down a bit. Okay, just come to your, your level nose attitude there. Just fly level for a little while. Basically, that bay in the distance there, which you can see the sea kind of horseshoes around it almost. That, in, that, in the middle of that bay, that's where the runway is. Yeah, I can't see it, but. Uh, whoa. A bit windy. <laughs> or is the wind turned off? <laughs> Does it get windy around these buildings in, the, in this sort of area? Does this. Is this um, Would that be a... Sometimes, yeah, I haven't set any wind in myself, but right. I think the system tends to input things that it likes to do myself. Yeah, it seems to be. Well, you've got the green on the instrument, so I'm assuming that would be the... Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. Is that weather on there? Uh, I would assume that's... I think that's actually the, the uh, terrain. Oh, the terrain? Yeah. That's the big bit you've not got to hit. Yeah. Oh, like How the hell are they? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to turn it around that quick. Can you see these? Straight ahead here, there's little flashing lights every now and again into the city. Yeah. Yeah, so basically they're supposed to lead you in. Ah, right. You try and keep those below you, and they're going to take you all the way around. That's great. Way. Okay, yeah, I can see that. We're at 1,500. Yeah, you need to keep me at a feet and fill in for the height. So I don't know where. Bring it five degrees of flap. Are we high enough? Yeah, oh, that's good. As long as you don't go too much lower than this, that'll be fine. Wow, that, I felt that and that. That's great, the way that <laughs> I can't see the second one. I can see the light below me. Where's the next one? Oh, right there. I'm just picking the altitude. You're we're going, the altitude. We're going down very quickly. Okay, I'm going to steer it, Holly. So <laughs> you keep the altitude, you keep us at high, and I'll steer it. Okay, you want to bring it a flat of 10 degrees now? Two 
don't compensate, don't overcompensate. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I've let go of the steering. I'm doing it with my feet now. Still compensating. Yeah, just. We're going to hit that person, whoever that person. is. <laughs> It's alright, we're not, we're gonna stop. That's not bad, Holly. Considering I've never flown in Tom Gone before. That's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> yeah, how's that? We're on the wrong way for most of High day. five, darling. <laughs> well done. Hi. Well, I'm recording this on a different day because it was kind of wet and horrible when we got back from the flight sim. So I thought I'd do uh, uh, an outro uh, on a different day. So it's uh, later on in December and um, that it was a fantastic day out. We had a fantastic time at Sim Spot. So thanks to everybody over there, uh, Greg and oh, I can't remember the the young lady's name. I think it was Joanne, but I might be wrong. So apologies if that's wrong. Um, but if you fancy doing a little bit of flight simulation, give them a ring. Uh, it's a seven three seven eight hundred, as I said in the vid, and uh, you you could see what you got to do. It is great fun and very enjoyable indeed. Uh, an excellent gift to somebody if um, if they quite fancy something doing doing something a bit different. Uh, they're based in Nottingham, so not uh, not too bad. Quite central in the UK, so if you anywhere in the UK really. But I I, I have been to other ones, and I have to say that um, the the Sim Spot, although it didn't have hydraulics, um, that didn't matter. It was it, that's the best one I've been on so far, and I've been on a couple now. Um, so that's that would be uh, my my recommendation is uh, have a go at SimSpot and have a play. Uh, go down for an hour or so uh, and enjoy. Group of you would go. You could rotate round. I think you can take up to four people into the actual uh, into the actual cockpit. Only two of you can fly, obviously, um, but you can take turns. So that's the that's the flight sim. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said earlier, if you're into flight sim stuff or EV stuff, there's a there's quite a lot of videos about EVs, uh, electric vehicles, on this uh, channel on under a playlist called Our Friends Electric, so please enjoy. Um, we've, uh, we've been driving an electric vehicle since April this year, so it's December now, and uh, had some good adventures with it. Um, and it's a, it's a really different way of driving, but it's great, uh, and uh, you should check it out. Uh, other, other than that, there are some Flight Sim X videos as well on this channel, although not many recently, just because of, well, we, uh, we've had a, a flood in the house and that's been impossible to do anything since, uh, since that happened. Anyway, we're back up and running now. The kitchen's back installed. Uh, we've got a new kitchen, fantastic. And uh, that's, uh, that's gonna be enabling us to do some more videos on the FSX side, hopefully. Good, right, well, um, I'll cut it short there. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you again. Bye now.